Hello there everybody, muggles of all ages, witches and wizards, welcome. My name is Tom Draco Malfoy in Muggle Disguise. Here at the Warner Studio Tour London, the making of Harry Potter. Sneak peek of a brand new unveiling of Professor Sprout's Greenhouse. I'm going to give you a little personal tour, but before I do that, I'm going to open myself up to a live on the Insta. Wait a sec, hang on a sec, it just came up and then it disappeared. I'm still new to this. Aha, aha, ahoy, ahoy. Wait a sec. Is it working? No. To notifications. Hmm. Help me out, please. Tech support. Muggles, you know. You're joining us here on a beautiful sunny day. Very rare we get to see sunshine here. Uh, welcome. Making the most of it while we can. Which reminds me, any questions or queries that you have while I tour through? Marvelous. Thank you. Are we going? We're good? Wave back. back. Yes. Waving. Uh, okay, right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come see it. It's been over... 20 years since I first walked into this building when I was literally 12 years old, very young Draco. So for all of you, for your first timers, welcome to Professor Sprout, to Professor Sprout's <laughs> greenhouse. I'm too excited. Painstakingly exactly as it was when I was here 20 years ago. I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to guess which one I was at. I know. Professor Sprout was down there. I was somewhere around here. Uh, I just recall being told off a lot for laughing too much. Um, the Slytherin boys, we got told off quite a lot, to be fair, for that. Uh, anyway, see my old friends here. Some of the, uh, some of the greatest actors in the world. <clears throat> it's hard to find a good... <sighs> Close your ears, guys. Oh! Painful, painful. Um, yes, welcome. Anyway, it's actually unbelievable how similar, well, how exactly it was when we were here. I mean, you didn't get to see this when you when you watched the films, probably, but the detail under the desks, over the desks, every single little piece of it is painstakingly put together with huge amounts of um, time, patience, and love. Basically, there was very little acting done. From, uh, from me and the rest of my cronies while we were here because we were just reacting to all this amazing stuff around us. Um, right, while well, I've got you, any questions, fire them my way. Uh, I'm, I'll do my best to read and, uh, and give you a tour at the same time. Here we have the famous, uh, what's it called? Tenta tenta tentacular? I'm sure one of you guys know. Just let me know as and when you, uh, as and when you get it. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, you're finally live. Yes, this is true. Malfoy is the best, absolutely. Where is Lucius? Lord knows. Not here, unfortunately, but uh, I will send you a love. Um, Favourite part of being a Slytherin? Well, much like being here, basically just allowed to be to muck about, basically. I sort of broke the rules endlessly and was allowed to get away with it. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Childhood memories in Potter, yes. This is, this is the first time I've walked in here this morning, about an hour ago. First time I've walked in this room for 20 odd years. Uh, and I auditioned to play Draco about 500 meters away. Venomous Tentacular, rotate, row, row to the rescue. Wait, did I say that right? Venomous ven ven Tentacular. Oh, now I'm just knocking around with you. Um, Yes, it's actually, it's really, really beautiful uh, and incredibly, well, I'd say realistic. It is realistic because it's real. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this tree falls so, it's a tree. It's just a real tree. Uh, close your ears. Yes, I don't recommend coming in here without the, um, the earmuffs. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen or heard, rather, the noise that these little guys make. But they're so cute. Look at this, so cute. Isn't he so cute? Terrifying. Favorite magical creature? Not him. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. We just had we had a rough start. We had a rough start, didn't we? Got my finger in his mouth. That was a mistake. Uh, yes, Draco back at home. Absolutely. It's it's, uh, it's a fun one to be in. And you will get the chance to do it yourself. See, I haven't lost the touch. If you just grip it just right, there you can see. <sighs> Very good. Very good. Um, yeah, I mean, I urge you to come check it out. It's so cool. It feels like a, a little blast from the past. Um, so, yeah, any, uh, any other thoughts or questions, please send them my way. Sending all my love from the Muggle Kingdom to wherever you are in the world. And look forward to you guys checking it out soon. So for now, I love and leave you. And I shall return back to the official Warner Brothers channels. <laughs> was it painful when the mandrake bit you? Yes, it bloody well was. It was far harder than I thought it was going to be. On that note, lots of love. Yeah, mandrakes. Well, yes, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me on that little, uh, little tour. Now, one of the most exciting bits, we actually get to speak to the man and his team that put this together. Gary, my friend. Hello, Tom. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. So it's been a long time since this was originally conceived. Absolutely. Over yeah. two decades. Yeah, 20 years we last built this. Oh, mate, it's absolutely amazing to see, well, the painstaking detail that absolutely. goes, that goes into that's, it. that's the most important thing. A lot of the elements that we've used in this greenhouse are from the original set. That's, that's, we've can't... had them in storage in a container for 20 years. I just, I love, first of all, like, where is that storage container and how much other goodies it's a does secret it... secret destination. Well, how cool though, that actually <laughs> finally get to share it. No, it really is cool. Because um, I know we've seen a lot of the, uh, well, costumes and, and bits and pieces, wands and broomsticks, but to actually have the original sets Absolutely. As they were made. Like, uh, again, yes. I can vouch for it because I was there 20 years ago. Absolutely. It's precisely as it was. And a lot of the crew that have built this were the crew that worked on the original film. So the yeah. production crew, the prop making, the art department. So How do they it, feel it's about completely it? completely authentic. How do they feel about seeing their, oh, seeing their work? Well, it's nice getting drawings out that we last saw 20 years ago. Yeah. And unraveled them and started to build oh, once again. Oh, dare I ask? How long, did it, how long did it actually take you and the team to it put, it, put it back together? about... Probably about six months. Six but months. That, that included a lot of work doing the big wall at the back. Yeah, it's sure. Six meters high, that wall. The greenhouse is 15 meters long. So it's a big old lump. Yeah, and uh, imposing on the back lot here. Uh, how, many, uh, how many mandrakes did you manage to wrestle in? There's about 100. Bloody hell. Yeah. Some are they, of which you can actually pull up. Are they all as violent as the one that bit my finger? They are. Okay, they good are. to know. Yeah, be very careful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You still got the scar? Yeah, well, I'm still, I'm <laughs> mentally absolutely scarred. It's pretty amazing, mate. It's pretty amazing to see. Uh, I mean, 20 years on, how much these films and how much these sets and how much of like your uh, and Stuart's and all the team's work is still Absolutely. still like making such a uh, huge difference to people's imaginations yeah. and their enthusiasm. Yeah. And, and, as uh, popular today as it ever has been. It's yeah. Wonderful. And it's not... wonderful that we can keep expanding and putting new exciting sets on the back lot here for people to do you, enjoy. Do you ever get a chance to sort of like scope about and just to see genuine kids' reactions? I do. And it's wonderful. Yeah. I particularly like standing up by the Hogwarts model where they come around the corner and yeah. not just kids, but adults, yeah, yeah, you're right. into tears. It's that, that emotional impact of, of seeing the castle for the first time. I think that's it's something wonderful. that, yeah, you and I and the, and the whole of the team should uh, often be reminded of if, is, well, I mean, you make it all look very effortless, but every square inch of every single part of these sets is put together Absolutely. with such love, passion and, and time. Should never underestimate the power that not at all. has and on it, the. It uh... is the skill of a huge team from prop makers, painters. You know, even the rust on the drain pipe is is perfect. I, I, I mean, I dread to think how many hours <laughs> someone has actually, has actually spent there, and let alone to make it. Obviously, one of the original tasks must have been. Um, I mean, a set was there for what was there for a month or so, but this is obviously now here exactly to stay. That. Yes, when we built the original greenhouse, it was in a soundstage. Yes. So it, could be out of fairly fragile materials. It only had to last there for a few weeks. Sure. This, of course, has to stand up for the worst of the English weather <laughs> and has good to luck be with here that. for a very long time. So you sure this rust isn't real? This is actually no, just it's a real <laughs> It's pretty uh, it's astounding. Uh, credit to you and the team. I know every Thank you. Potter fan around the world will get a massive, massive kick out of it. We're very excited to have it here. I can't wait to see the visitor's reaction when they visit. Yeah, well, please pass on my love and pride to the rest of the team. I certainly will. Well. I look forward to seeing you around the rest of it. Thank you. Good to see you, old friend. See you soon. All right, mate. Peace and love. <laughs>